Managing a few websites for yourself, it's not a big deal. But once you start managing multiple websites for clients and yourself, then it does become time consuming to take care of these websites. With this deal that I'm going to show you right now, you can take care of updates, backups, uptime monitoring, and site health, plus a few other things more. But right now it's a lifetime deal, so you definitely want to check it out. It's called a Modular DS, so let's test it out. What's up? This is Modular DS, and right now it's a lifetime deal, and there's a 60-day money-back guarantee. In case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. The big deal about right now is that it's on a lifetime deal, so that means that you pay once and use forever. Now, Modular DS is based for WordPress and WooCommerce, and the current price structure is this one right here. So for license tier one, which is $49 for the lifetime deal, you get access to seven websites, and this is one of the sweet spots that I do like the most is that it includes storage. So you can do backups from here without a big deal of installing plugins and all that thing. You can do it all for modular DS. You get users only one five minute uptime monitoring and no plugin white label. Now that might not be a big deal. You won't even need to use a plugin unless you want to use a plugin and connect via that way. But you can connect via the link, username and password and get into the admin access without even installing a plugin. But if you need to install the plugin and you want to white label it, I suggest that you jump into license tier three or four. Plus, if you need more websites, check out these other licenses, all right? So do consider that. And you'll get access to all of this in the lifetime deals, right? So this is Modular DS, and this is my demo account where I have connected a WooCommerce site and a WordPress site. And I'm going to show you the capabilities of Modular DS. Now, before I show you that, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hosting Gear. They are running a great deal right now that is the new year deal so you definitely want to check out their prices right now so if you jump over to the link in the description go to their pricing structure they have the premium and business and the cloud startup plan available now all of these are really affordable plans for what you're going to get now let me show you the business plan because they have a great price plus i'm going to show you how to apply a discount that you're going to grab an even lower price okay so the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance i recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing, so $167 with 52 cents. But if you add my coupon code SASMASTER, here we go, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $150 with 77 cents. That is for 48 months. So that's four years paid off for that single price. So you definitely want to check that deal out. Okay, so now let's jump into my panel here on modular DS and I want to first show you how easy it is to add a website from WordPress okay so we're going to click on the website here the plus sign and I'm going to add the link to my website in this case I'll just say it's sasmaster.net name of the site sasmaster and I'm going to keep it on the main team if you have multiple team members then you want to create teams in this case it's just me so let's go ahead and continue it's going to take me to the next section where I have two options to add my website one is automatic and the other is manual now, the automatic version is what we have to do is add the login link. So by default, WordPress is WP-admin. But if you modify this to something else, something original, you want to add that link there. OK, and then you want to add your credentials. So that means username and password. I would recommend that you create a dedicated admin user for this purpose so you can keep track. All right. And the other option is doing it manually. That means that you'll add a plugin and add the key and the private key to that website and it'll be connected so it's just super easy to connect and once you connect you'll have access to several of these tools available that modular ds provides okay so this is my woocommerce site and i've already created backups here just for testing purposes but i want to give you a quick overview of everything that you can do here on modular ds included in that lifetime deal all right so first off we got a quick glance of what's happening on this website which is the WordPress version, the PHP version, the modular version, and critical errors. I'll show you the error in a bit, okay? And then a quick view of the backups that you've done recently. In this case, I've done two, and I can go ahead and create a backup right now from my allowance here, okay? So that means on this plan, I'm in tier one for this uh, testing purposes, 35 gigabytes is my allowance, okay? Which is a lot and not a lot, depending on the site they have. I mean, if you have a uh, a shopping store then if you have a lot of images and videos that might not be a lot but maybe your site is just 200 megabytes 300 megabytes then you have enough space there to do a lot of backups right plus you want to delete the old ones the next thing you're going to view is the plugins that need updates or if i want to install a plugin straight from here now this means that i don't have to go into every single one of these sites and do the updates i can do it straight from here right same thing goes with themes same thing goes with wordpress right i can update from here without having to log in into every single one of these websites 
Now, the reason that you want to do this and not do an automatic update is because you want to be there when the updates are happening, because if something breaks, you can do a revert, right? Now, that's why you want to do this manually and not just auto update, right? On the right, we have options for notes, our settings, maintenance reports you can generate, the optime monitor that's included in the lifetime deal too. And depending on the LTD you grab, the inner pulse that is going to check is here. For example, tier one and two will be every five minutes. So that means if it goes down in two minutes, it'll take three more minutes to get that five minutes and then report. So the sweet spot for me an uptime monitor would be one to two minutes. So decide what you're gonna grab there, right? And okay, next thing we wanna do is go to metrics. Now metrics are tied to Google Analytics, so you will have to connect to your uh, Google account to do this. Same thing goes with Search Console. And with WooCommerce, it's just allowing them to connect with WooCommerce. So in this case, I have a demo site that has WooCommerce installed there. So I'm able to view what's going on on that site without having to log into WooCommerce. So I have a quick overview of what's going on. So the income, the net sales, the orders, the product sold, etc all from here by date, by every 14 days, every 28 dates, etc. It's just a quick overview there, which I think is useful, especially if you're managing a bunch of sites and you just want a quick overview of if something's sold or how, how you're doing, then it's a good option there, right? Then you have your uptime monitor. In this case, I am monitoring this site, again, just for testing purposes. And what you're gonna do, be greeted with is these settings, okay? This is where you're going to get started. And you wanna select the interval that you wanted to check. In this case, I selected 30 minutes because it's, it's just a demo site and I don't have access to two minutes because I'm in license tier one, right? The consider website is down after. So for example, I don't wanna get alerted if the site went down one second, two seconds, five seconds, et cetera. I want it to be alerted after 10 seconds, right? So it, it, it checked and it was down for 10 seconds and then alert me. So if this is a real site, I would definitely go with less than one second, right? And then you have keywords. I really like this feature which gives you the option to add a keyword that if it's not in the page, then it's down, right? That means not strict mode, it's just gonna select. If it's down, it's down, right? And strict mode would say, if that keyword is not visible there, then it's actually down. And the reason this one is important is because sometimes the websites don't go down. Sometimes the websites just break, right? So maybe you update a plugin, a theme, or something just happened, and the website is loading, but it's broken or something is, is wrong with it. So you wanna make sure, for example, I don't know, shopping cart. If that word is not there, then the site is down. Something happened to it. It just got all oh, wonkers out there. So you wanna base it on keywords. So I would definitely use that if this was the real site that I'm checking, right? SSL monitoring and notifications. So notifications, you can select the emails that you wanna send it out and the SMS that you wanna send it out. That is included on this deal. Now. This is my guess. I'm not sure. I need to check. The SMS will be available for the United States and Canada. That's how they work most of the time. They won't include for other countries. So you want to check that, all right? Next, we have backups. This is one of my favorite features. One of the big issues that they have right now is that they don't have the restore feature yet, but it's in the roadmap. They're actually working on this right now. So the restore backups is in work in progress, okay? So that's a really good thing. Now, backups are super easy to set up. To do that, again, you're gonna be greeted in the settings section. And here we go. So do you wanna back up everything or do you wanna exclude some files? In this case, I wanna do everything. But sometimes you might want to exclude some files. Maybe you wanna exclude the uploads folder. So if you have a huge website that's three, five gigabytes, I don't know, you don't wanna do a backup every single time of all of that, then you can exclude those files. And that helps you out with the storage limit, right? Same thing goes with database, the recurrence. So daily, weekly, or monthly, you can select the date and time that it's gonna do it. And the backup retention. So this will be a monthly backup. So this one is gonna be gone in 45 days. So it cleans the storage and then you get that space back and you keep on updating, well, backing up and backing up, right? And you got the expert, expert configuration here, which is max number of files. You can do that there. Max zip size and max waiting time. So those are more advanced features, just in case it doesn't do the automatic backup and you have some issues there, that will help you out, right? If not, contact support, right? Then you have the activity here of what's going on. So you're gonna view all your backups available here. And as I mentioned before, restore is not available right now, but that will be available, I don't know, in a couple of weeks or month because that they're working on that right now, right? And you have all the details here that you can download to keep a backup somewhere else, or if you're gonna need it to restore it. And you got everything separated here to have a backup of it outside of modular DS, right? Then you have your reports here. 
you can create a report here with the new report. And that's just, for example, if you're managing client side, and then this would be a great feature. You can schedule a report. We can do a timely report. For example, schedule a report. Here we go. We're going to get the settings for this. Uh, when do you want this report? Weekly, monthly, or quarterly, the logo for client, and customize this report logo. And it's going to give you an overview report of everything that's going on on that side. All right. Then you have your health and safety. Remember, I had a critical error that's available right here. So what's going on? Page cache is detected, but the server response time is still slow. So they, it knows it's cached, but it's still slow. So something is wrong. You need to check it out. And that is going to let me know right here, right? And I got my site status, site information, vulnerabilities, and all available right here. Everything's fine right now. And I do like that they are going to alert you if there are vulnerabilities. And you'll find that in settings, in notifications, you can set up your notifications. If something is wrong, you can do that there, right? So I love that you can do everything right here in the panel without having to jump into these websites individually every single time that you want to do some updates. You can do it all from here, right? And that's the beauty about Modular DS. Now, as I mentioned before, this is the current lifetime deal. You need to check it out, decide if it's the right fit for you, and they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can go full on and test this. And if something is not up to your standards, just go ahead and refund it. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code on Hostinger. And that's a wrap.